As Korea is carrying out the widespread implementation of online learning starting this week, we have yet to see the full scale of challenges. However, in the preparation stage, there were a number of issues such as the concern of digital exclusion, accompanied by the possibility of causing other forms of education inequality, the potential insufficient, insufficient volume of internet servers that can handle massive number of people logging in at the same time, a proportion of teachers not proficient in handling ICT tools, a need for drawing more specific plans to manage students' learning performance at home, and so on. The online learning inevitably makes teachers more proficient with their ICT skills, and this results in teachers spending more time and effort in the early stages. Also, teachers have to find different ways to manage their students through online platforms, as they did in their face-to-face -face classrooms. For example, they might have to come up with more creative ways to motivate students in their learning. Additionally, evaluating students' assignments and monitoring their progress in general has to be changed to prevent students from simply copying and pasting assignments from the internet. From the student perspective, they have to realize that the way of learning is now changed and that they need to try to become more self-directed. Further, the role of teachers will change from transmitters of knowledge to mediators of learning.